Hey there, I hope this, this series has been helpful and informative. If it has, please subscribe to my channel to show support. And like every video that you've watched to show support. We are on element two, that is the technician license. We're in sub element eight delta. Which of the following is a digital communications mode? From these choices, packet radio, IEEE 802.11, which probably is Wi-Fi, FT8, these are all correct. These are all digital communications modes. What is a talk group on a DMR repeater? It is a way for groups of users to share a channel at different times without hearing other users on the channel. That's the talk group, a way for groups of users to share a channel at different times without hearing other users on the channel. What kind of data can be transmitted by APRS? You can transmit all kinds of stuff there too. All these choices are correct. You can do GPS position data. In my Jeep, I transmit the GPS position and the speed. Text messages. At home, I can send text messages to anybody that uh, might need to know a relay or something to get there, but I have sent text messages through APRS. And then weather data. I can get weather data periodically from weather stations around the area, within my Aloha circle especially, and check the weather in certain areas. So all of these choices are correct. What type of transmission is indicated by the term NTSC? And that is an analog fast scan color TV signal. Here in the US, we use NTSC. In Europe, they might use what's called PAL, but we use NTSC. Over here, it's an analog fast scan color TV signal. Which of the following is an application of APRS? Providing real-time tactical digital communications in conjunction with a map showing the locations of stations. And on my APRS station, I run a program called Exastier. It's X-A-S-T-I-R, Exastier. And there are other programs out there, but there's a map, and it shows the location of every station that I receive. And I get some of them over the air, and I get some through the Internet through a gateway. What does the abbreviation PSK mean? Now, when I got into amateur radio and I was a technician, I did PSK 31. That's phased shi phase shift keying. And PSK 31 used to be really popular. It's still out there, though it's not as widely used now that FT8 is around. But phase shift keying is what PSK means. Which of the following describes DMR. That is a technique for time multiplexing two digital voice signals on a single 12.5 kilohertz repeater channel. So on a DMR radio, it's all digital and it just time multiplexes so that it knows how to piece it back together and you can have two signals at once. Which of the following is included in packet radio transmissions? The correct answer is all these choices are correct. There is a checksum that permits error detection, a header that contains the call sign of the station to which the information is being sent, automatic repeat request in case of error. All these choices are correct for packet radio transmissions. Question nine is, what is CW? Continuous wave. Another name for a Morse code transmission. So Morse code CW is somewhat interchangeable. It depends on who you're talking to. If you're talk telling somebody at, at the nearest grocery store, man, I had a cool CW contact today. They're going to be like, what? So with them, you might say, I talked to somebody using Morse code. And then they might be like, wow, that's cool. You know Morse code? 
So CW and Morse code, they are they are pretty much the same thing. Question number 10, which of the following operating activities is supported by digital mode software in the WSJTX software suite? And there's a bunch of stuff you can do with WSJTX. It has so many modes in it, but all these choices are correct. Go ahead and Google WSJTX software. Go to their website and look at some pictures of it. Or go to YouTube and look at somebody who's doing some FT8 or some JT8 or JT9. And uh, you'll see that you can do Earth, Moon, Earth contacts. You can bounce stuff off the moon. You can do weak signal propagation beacons like Whisper, WSPR. You can even do meteor scatter. All these choices are correct. Question number 11, what is an ARQ transmission system? Now ARQ is for error detection. So it's an error correction method in which the receiving station detects errors and sends a request for retransmission. That's for those really important messages. There will be an ARQ and it will try to keep sending back and forth until the right information is received. Question number 12, which of the following best describes an amateur radio mesh network? Now, a mesh network uses Wi-Fi routers, and then it uses Arden software. I think that's what it is. It's an amateur radio-based data network using commercial Wi-Fi equipment with modified firmware. That is a rabbit hole you could go down and you can mess around with. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've seen it. Never done it myself. But, hey, it's there if you need it. It's there if you don't. Question 13, and the last one for this sub-element is, what is FT8? Well, one, it's very popular, and either you like it or you don't. It is a digital mode capable of low signal-to-noise operation. FT8 can be heard when most other modes cannot be heard or decoded. Um, it's just one of them. There are others. FT8 just seems to be the most popular right now. Alrighty, so we'll be back. We're going to start sub-element 9 after this. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys again. I hope. 73 from W1RCP.